Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and um, I got a very interesting topic to bring up. Con or trying to be confused about the punishment. Now, um, I got some really good points to bring, and I'm going to start with the following. Alright, now, everyone's familiar that the Punisher is one of Marvel's biggest legends, one with Blade and Spider Man, which has got three movies now. And then we got X Men, which currently got a fourth movie, which is a prequel. One of my personal favorites. Uh, and then we got Dan Crow Hawk, which screwed up back in Veterinary, but it turned better for this one. Now, with all these franchises that have all uh, in common with each other, besides being Marvel, all of them actually became a franchise, got sequels up the ass, and even X Men is getting lucky with some um, prequels. But The Punisher, you know, it, I'm one, the big confusing basically is um, why the hell can they get a straight franchise? You know, why can't it just be like, okay, we got one Punisher movie, we're going to have another one following that, and then another one following that. Instead, they're not even related to each other. It is sad but true. Let me explain why right about here. This was the Punisher played by Dolph Lockman, which you're pr pretty much familiar with um, He-Man and <clears throat> Ivan Drago from Rocky IV. Yeah, the big fucking Russian dude. And then we basically got Thomas Jane, who did the Punisher in the 2004 movie, who also played Mello in um, the, the second Crow movie, who also plays Zap in um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie, not the TV show. And then finally, he plays Burke and uh, Burke Heads in Face Off. And then this is basically Ray Stevenson as the Punisher. I would like to point out that the second and third actor that did the Punisher, you know, representing his depression. I mean, he barely wanted to do anything. He had a death wish. He was going out and killing criminals because it just basically made him feel like real justice is being served. It's because his family got slaughtered and he doesn't know what that's that mob is, you know, just... But anyway, um, the, my point is, the first Punisher does something that's very different from the other two. I'm about to show you what could be the most fucked up aspect of the first Punisher. This Punisher action meant, uh, meant things, and basically, it helps him through. Okay, I I wanted to bring up another point, that, um, it's part of a trademark for the Punisher, and you would agree that this is definitely what the fuck. Um, I also want to bring in another point relating to this, about another what the fuck they did with the first Punisher movie. So, let's get down to it. Dolph the Punisher didn't have the skull, and looked a little different from the other two. Now, this is basically Tom's um, The Punisher. This was very accurate, man. But this is shit. Look at that. It, it just, he's not supposed to look like a SWAT. Basically, what this has in common with the other Punisher movies, the 2004 one, is they both were followed by reboot. Now, why did I bring up that Hulk movie? Well, we already know it's a disaster, but, um... It was basically followed by, originally scheduled to be a sequel, but it became a reboot shortly after, um, when they got Edward Norton, who originally was going to be part of the Hulk movie, but he declined because, you know, this probably because he's seen the script and didn't like it. But anyway, I know it's surprising to find that out, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, it, it's kind of funny that that happens with the Hulk. You know, we got a really good Hulk movie now. And, 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 you know, this is going to make good Hulk movies. They're actually trying to do something new with this one. You know, like, they're going to try to connect it to other parts of the Marvel Universe, bringing more heroes, maybe some other films. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, but the Punisher, though, it's funny. The, um, it made sense why they rebooted the first time. But the second time? Okay, the second time, basically, the reason for this is pretty fucked up. What's the, this? Here's the reason why this uh, turned into a reboot. Thomas Jane said the script writing was about as bad as the Super Mario Bros. movie, and that's bad. So we got this instead. Enjoy the movie while you can. Sorry about all that confusion, but it's about to get even more confusing as I bring up each main villain of each of the Punisher movies. So let's get down to it. Okay, the first movie had two villains. Jay Franco and... Lady Takanaka. Then the next one has Howard Stamp. And do something else. Then finally we got Jigsaw, who is the Punisher's nemesis. I already said earlier in my video that Dolph basically plays as 
Ivan Draco and Rocky Four. What I didn't tell you is that um, Tom and Jane actually took on the Russian, who was actually played by Kevin Nash, who also went on the play in, you guessed it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 Secret of the Use as Super Shredder. Now, that's, now I'm going to bring up something that took me a little while to figure this out. I remember when I heard about this, that it surprised me right on the spot. So let's get right into there. <clears throat> Everyone, you already know Jigsaw's in this movie, which was also owned by um, Lionsgate, which was responsible for the Soul series for the character of the same name, Jigsaw. Okay, basically, my next point is going to show why they made the third Punisher movie into a second reboot. Okay, it all started with Batman being after the shocking shittiness that was Batman and Robin, and then uh, some people really look into the Dark Knight as that was better than the original, and then they crawl off. So they figured, let's make a, another reboot. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was basically about the confusing of uh, why they keep rebooting the Punisher movies. Like, why couldn't they just give us a fucking um, film series like they do with Batman, which originally got rebooted? Um, a lot of franchises like a name basically had some that were you know sequels and then eventually got rebooted some even got remakes and yeah I mean that's just the whole point it's just this is getting so ridiculous that it's gonna be expected the next one oh that's gonna be a reboot I, I don't give a shit about it because I like the 2004 one you know it's completely a pain what you think it just why the fuck are we keep getting reboots you know I'm t I, I know I'm tired of it you're tired of it you know I'm just want a lot of you to speak out and Hopefully we can just get him to stop and give us a fucking film series for crying out loud. So I'm Jack Red, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all later.